Hello YouTube, welcome to the channel Vortigon Gaming. Let's run some Welcome Mythic Plus Dungeons in World of Warcraft. Today we are going to be running a Waycrest Manor, level 13 as an Arcane Don't Mage. The weekly affixes are Tyrannic, Volcanic, and Sanguine. I will be doing my best to give a live commentary of the dungeon run. If you are into that kind of content, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Uh, so this week, uh, well it's not the roughest week uh, I've had, but... Uh, it is a tyrannical week, and, you know, I would say, in my opinion, tyrannical weeks are a bit uh, rougher than the fortified weeks, and the dungeons that I was, uh, you know, intending on completing this week, they were kind of some of the rougher ones to deal with, especially some of the bosses in those dungeons. Uh, and since we are only a few hours out from the weekly reset, I feel like let's go ahead and run, a, you know, one of the easier dungeons here. Uh... Just so, you know, we, you know, can get some extra vault gear if we need it, and also there are, you know, a lot of folk uh, playing this game that like to run alt characters. Maybe we can help them out with the, uh, you know, raising their uh, alt character's IO level. So, you know, it looks like some of them, either they're, you know, alt characters or they're, uh, you know, they really are uh, that low level at Mythic Plus Dungeons. So, uh, we're gonna... We're gonna make some people's uh, days today. It looks like, are they going in? Are they... Uh, okay, you know what? We'll go ahead and lust this. I was not out looking him to uh, pull the boss this quickly. Of course, we are going to get mind controlled by the main boss, so that's not good. But luckily, we're back at it. So we'll go ahead and uh, pop some cooldowns on this woman. Let's go ahead and kick the soul bear. Okay. Basically, the main mechanic of this boss fight is there's a talisman, or a talisman that the boss carries, and uh, they pass it to uh, each other once they hit uh, like 50% health, I think. Like, if you get their health down to half, like the next uh, boss in line is going to take the talisman. I, s I think they call it the iris. And whoever has the iris, uh, you do the damage to them, since the other ones have damage reduction on them. And uh, each boss does its own kind of mechanic. I think this boss, it looks like... Well, I, I can't tell, since we got her down to half health. Um, this boss does the whole, you know, mind control stuff. So, like, the, just watch out for that, and... Oh, did I? I... Popped my cooldowns on the wrong boss, but you know what? It's fine. This is only a level 13. Uh, basically, knowing how to play your character the right way at this low of a uh, you know mythic plus dungeon level is not really that important. All you have to do is just not die to basic stuff, and you should be good to go. Anyway, this uh, this boss in or, or this uh, particular one, Sister Malady, puts like a curse on you that keeps stacking unless you you know, move about a little bit. And uh, this um, this one puts Aura of Thorns on you, so it looks like uh, she does damage back to you if you do damage to her, but you know what? That's not really going to be a problem anymore since we did just take her down. And so we're going to go ahead and uh, give ourselves a slash here and move on to the next part of the dungeon. Alright, I think they did take the patrol from the stairs. There's a patrol that walks on the stairs right there, so it is a bit, uh, iffy to stand under the stairs. But it looks like they got it, so we can, uh, come in right here, do some AoE damage to everyone. Alright. Looks like we are moving out here. We're gonna go ahead and kick Spirit of Defense, and this is, uh, I don't know about this pull. This is a this is a bold pull. Um, luckily, I do have some cooldowns up and ready. Let's go ahead and take out the thorn shapers for it. Oh, I need to hit one of those. It looks like. Okay. We can also go ahead. I'm popping all of my defensives right here. It looks like we do have a man down. I was a bit late on the uh, the blast wave there. No, I think we'll be fine as long as I get some healing in time. I have gotten some healing in time. 
And oh, you know what? I totally forgot I have shifting power to get some of my cooldowns back. After shifting power goes out, we can go ahead and kick that thorn shaper right there. And that should stabilize things for a few seconds. At least until the other uh, mage gets back. And then we should be good to go. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Maybe didn't need to use my cooldowns on that ad, but you know what? I did, and now we are at the Tooth Boss of the Dungeon. I do not like this boss that much. The thorns seek your soul. Oh, I totally forgot Soul Thorns came out. Yeah, so the idea is you want to stand near this boss so that, uh... You know, the DPS can break you out of soul, soul thorns quicker when it comes out. Because the thing is, we do have a, uh, a melee DPS here. And if, I, if I'm standing off in, like, Narnia somewhere, this DPS has to, like, run all the way over to where I am to break it out. But since I'm standing right next to her, uh, she can swap over to me and, and uh, get me out of the thorns uh, in no time, pretty much. Anyway, after we're out of the thorns, we'll go ahead and pop some uh, cooldowns on the boss. Alright. Soul thorns are out. Soul thorns have been taken care of. We'll go ahead and hit shift and power to get some of our cooldowns back. Soul Thorns. Okay. I think we can pop some cooldowns. And then this should about do it for this boss. Alright. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves a slash here and move on to the Make next sure part of the dungeon. For this foul are we going to pull everything? I don't think so. It looks like we are pulling a lot though. This is going to be... Uh, a bold pull. Okay. Uh, we can hit Dragon's Breath. We can also hit, uh, whatchamacallit. Right there. Mass Barrier. To, uh, kind of... Shield everyone from taking too much damage here. Okay. Uh, this is... It is a bit hard to see in here with the, uh, the narrow hallways and such. Um, thinking maybe he should have pulled all these outside, but you know what? Uh, we're here. Right here, right now. I think we're... We're just gonna have to deal with this. Okay. Luckily, it is only a level 13, so we don't have to deal with the blood pools on the ground since Sanguine is a, uh, whatchamacallit, is an affix this week. Oh, okay. I'm being ran after. I don't know what that's about, uh, but I don't like it. Alright, we'll go ahead and blink all the way over here. Okay, I'm too far. Okay, I'm stuck on the wall also. Healer is down. That is, uh, not great. I think I was stepping in a trap or something right there. Okay. <coughs> Luckily everything is dead now. So, you know what, let's go ahead and get shift and power. Or hit shift and power to get some of our cooldowns back. And we are going into the third boss fight. Uh, this is a pretty straightforward boss fight, I feel like. Just um, kill adds and dodge stuff. And, like, don't step on, like, the, you know, the green pools on the ground. That should be good. Okay. Funny trick you can do here. I can hit Alter Time, blink over here, do damage, and then once he does that Blast Wave, or Tenderize, whatever it's called, I can hit Alter Time again, blink back. 
and I don't have to waste time running over, uh, you know, from one side of the room to the other. Which is nice. Okay. Go ahead and do some damage to that wasting servant over there. Okay, so the other, uh, whatchamacallit, mage hit Frost Nova. I also have Frost Nova if we need it. Uh, looks like we don't though, since all of these servants are taken care of. Okay, this is not great. Since I actually have to like run now, my altered time. I don't think my altered time was up uh, in time there, right? I think normally I, I use shifting power earlier in the pull, so my altered time is actually up on the second time he does that, but. Uh, it doesn't matter too much since this boss is down. So we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves a slash cheer and move on to the next part of the dungeon. Dead mate. Okay. We'll go ahead and set a focus on that. Go on. Find Lady Waycrest. Settle the score. And you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and pop a burn on this switch oh, right here. We'll also go ahead and remove the curse there. Uh, I don't think I should need to do that though, since he is a mage. You should have remove curse on his uh, toolbar. Why not join me in the basement? And marvel at death's beauty. Okay. I think. Oh, was I? I think I might have been in. Oh no, never mind. It's a patch of roots on the ground, or whatever those are. Thorn is coming out of that one. You know what? We. Oh, I don't have the curse removal, but the other guy does. Yeah, this, this other mage might actually be a new player, or at least new to mages. I feel like someone running on an alt would be, uh... Would be more on top of the, uh, the utility stuff. Uh... But, I mean, it doesn't really matter, does it? Since this is level 13, I think we're on track to, uh, three-starring this dungeon, even. So... Okay, I think we can jump down. Maybe some slight fall damage, but nothing too big. Uh, ooh, you know what? Let's go ahead and hit Dragon's Breath on this. We also want to interrupt that uh, Soul Volley right there. Specifically, we want to kick it. That's the kind of, uh, you know, interrupt we're using right there. Okay. Um... Kick on the Soul Charmer is needed so that they'll actually walk out of the candles. The candles give damage reduction here. Uh, but anyway, um, that's that's all the ads taken care of there, so we're moving on to the fourth boss fight. Basically, uh, you just do damage to this guy until he hits zero health, and that's pretty much it. Um, every once in a while, he'll put like a green circle around you. Just drop that somewhere, it's good. I do feel like this uh, this boss fight is a little bit of a missed opportunity, though, when it comes to the uh, the soundtrack. Uh, Lady Waycrest over there is playing a you know an organ, so I feel like putting that. I think it's a piece by Bach, you know, the one that's like da -da -da, da -da -da -da. maybe could have put that in here to kind of spice up the uh, the music here instead of like I don't even know what she's playing right now, but it's uh. It's definitely not uh, the same caliber of musical genius as, you know, the great composer of, I don't even remember what century. Um, but you know what, it doesn't really matter since we don't really have to listen to uh, whatever she's playing too much longer. Since she is at 10%, she is going to jump down here to the floor right here. And then once she's down here, you basically just, you know, get these uh, bosses' health down to zero. And then every once in a while you kick Racking Cord coming out of Lady Waycrest, and that's pretty much the whole fight there. And, uh, yeah. This should about do it for this boss fight. 
Yeah, she should be going down in two seconds now. So we'll go ahead and give ourselves a slash tier and move on to the last part of the dungeon. Oh, okay. There we go. At long last, the nightmare is over. Alright. And we're going to pull these ads right into the boss, it looks like. And uh, what's his face? Or whoever the, uh, whatchamacallit is. The uh, shaman's gonna pop lust. So I am also going to pop lust then. Quickly, burn it. Okay, let's go ahead and burn the, uh, oh. Okay, never mind, the other slayer has just, uh, popped up. Okay, now we can, I think we can get them both. Yeah, we got them both. That should be good. <coughs> oh, I am stunned. That's a care of him, right? Yeah. There we go. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, we'll step away from that volcano. Don't want to get knocked up there. Alright. Now this should about do it. For Waycrest Manor, level 13, as an arcane mage. Give ourselves a slash cheer, thank everyone for a clean run, and even congratulate them on uh, three-starring the dungeon. And of course we are an arcane mage, so the common courtesy is to give everyone a portal back to the main hub of the expansion. And that's going to about do it here. Uh, for this video, so if you liked what you saw here, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see any other dungeons, or want to see me run any other dungeons during Dragonflight Mythic Plus Season 3. Let me know in a comment down below which dungeon you'd like to see me run. Hopefully I can get around to posting a bot of that. Anyway, that's going to about do it for me here, so I hope you all had fun watching, and I will see you all later.